Hello and welcome, you're watching Video Brido, I'm Chad Lilano and we're here with backstage with Garage Duo, Oxide and Neutrino. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing good man. Yeah, doing good. Yeah, how do you feel about your first performance at Bruno? Yeah, we're ready for it man. Ready to The crowds love it, yeah. They, they will, they'll never come in, you know. Bruno, we, turn, they turn up late. I'm thinking that we played it before. I'm not sure, you know. Back in the day? Maybe. Probably. Maybe. Like, maybe well, the old school, really yeah. spot, you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's been through here. So um, what can Bruno students expect from an Oxide and Neutrino performance? Like, what's different about your performance, Steve? Though? What's different? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of like a straight-up garage set. Like, we sometimes mix it up with other styles as well, but it's mainly based on garage, kind of bringing back the old-school tunes that people people are missing and want to hear, so... Yeah, how do you guys get the crowd going when they're kind of, you know, tonight might be a bit of a rough night, so how do you guys get the crowd going? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... I think we just, you know, the people come out to see us, so, you know, we vibe with them anyway. But I remember, like, being young growing up, like, listening to Soul Solid Crew back in the day, of course. You guys were part of Soul Solid. Yeah. Um, now, I came to this country and literally garage music was the biggest thing around i came from jamaica i was like what's the sound like it's different yeah so like i remember when uk garage was um kind of big and you guys were in so Soul the biggest crew around now what was your best memory of like being in so Soul you being on top of the uk music industry at the time Ooh. it's hard to almost yeah. put it down to one point there's so many good things like well give me a few give me a rundown um just some of the live performances in front of like literally tens of thousands of people um Going on things that you've grown up watching, like the Top of the Pops, and doing interviews in, like traveling to different countries, and just the whole kind of experience of everything as a whole was kind of, yeah, yeah not not something we was expecting. Yeah, but it's also seeing you know something like you love doing, and then you know people appreciating that, showing you a lot of love, and as well like you know going having number one, you know your album going platinum and stuff like that. So you think, wow, people have actually gone out. And bought that. You know, <laughs> yeah, so, so how do you feel really when good. you guys got the first number one? Pretty laid back because we weren't expecting it. It was like, okay, you know, you, like this tune's quite big. You know, people are gonna buy it. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And they're like, oh, you know, it, it could go, you know, top twenty, could go top ten, you know, whatever. Then you get your mid weekend, and they're like, right, you know, it sold like what was it about hundred and ten thousand for like in a, um, a week so like okay what does that mean they're like well basically it should be number one by Sunday so yeah. it's like oh <laughs> and the next thing you know you're, well, yeah well like, <laughs> like you're number one on radio you're standing like top of the pops like what am I doing here what, what's going on like it's so weird I think as well it's, it wasn't something we we're striving to get like oh we really want a number one we want chart success so that's you just something kind of just, ride yeah it just come along so you know you're, you're, you're in like we're in you know Brixton or Batsy in a pirate radio station and the next minute you're on TV, like number one, you know, <laughs> everyone's like, what? What's going on? What are you? Crazy. crazy. <laughs> So what was like, okay, what were your favourite tree tracks? Because not everyone might know your music, so what would you say is your three favourite Oxide and Neutrino tracks? <laughs> Got to say Brown for the Reload, because that yeah. was Brown just such a, a ground, <laughs> groundbreaking track. Um, I don't know, what you reckon, Neutrino? Uh, for me, my next would be probably Up Middle Finger, because that's like it's telling people about the struggle we kind of went through, yeah. you know, to get you know, to where we were. Um, Remy on the floor, I kind of liked. It's a fun track. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and just for a little curveball, what would you say your three favorite Soul Solid Crew tracks? Hmm. Again, almost <laughs> for me, probably the the main question. ones like the Twenty One Seconds, the They Don't Know, um, Whoa as well, big Whoa. big club track. Do, 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 do. Whoa. Yeah, um, that's a that's a big one. Okay, so. We all know kind of garage music influenced a lot of artists from Titchy Strider, Boy Better Known, all your current urban acts now, even Chipman can know those acts there. Yeah. So what do you think the future holds for garage music? Um, I, I think the future has kind of already happened. People have took elements from garage and branched off and made their own sound, like i.e. grime, dubstep, 
I think it just will keep going, you know, it, it bites off and then... People forget, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you kind of get like a 360 comes back and, yeah, was, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. So, it comes back and cycles. you know, there, there's always going to be a garage. And it's always, I, I think it's just, it'll be underground now. You know, there's, there is an underground movement It'll still. be a search. Yeah. I'm hoping for a search. <laughs> it'll come back and, you know, be like yeah. a revolution again. <laughs> Okay, so um, and what can your the garage fans look forward from you both coming up in the future? Like any albums coming up, mixtape collaborations that we should look out for? Yeah, there's new new stuff that we're working on. We've got um, so solid tour coming up as well, so that's going to be that. a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just yeah, we're, we're yeah, in the cabin working hard and doing of, clubs you know, and that, so there'll always be stuff coming out from us. Okay, we'll definitely look out for that. And just your final question here, and this one's going to be a bit of a curveball as well. So, yeah. to both of you, if I gave you an elephant, where would you hide it? <laughs> it's random. Where, where would you hide it? Where would I hide it? Can hide an elephant, man. <laughs> there you go, people. They don't know where to hide it. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. This has been Video Bruno. This is Upside the Neutrino. Thank you, guys. Cheers.